All right, so this video is going to be about the whole Jimmy Kimmel going uh, back and forth between um, um, uh, with him and Sean Hannity, which Sean Hannity, I, I don't know why he would be going back and forth with him, but whatever. Uh, he said something. Um, I To me, it, it, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm going to go ahead and put that up right now, and then I'm going to come back and we'll talk about it. All right. So he goes and says, uh, don't worry, just keep tweeting, you'll get back on top. Or does Trump prefer you on the bottom? Either way, keep your chin up, big fella. Now, my issue with that is that, to be honest with you, it ain't that big of a deal to me. But if, since I'm going to go with the way the left, since we want to play the same game, the outrage culture that the left likes to play, then I'm going to, I think he should honestly be fired. Because if let, let's say someone... Let's say someone on the right said something like this. There will be hell to pay if someone on the right said something like this. He, he went and said this, and now here we are. Now, um, I'm go I, I think it should be fired. I mean, since we're since we're going that way, since we have to, since we have to be outraged on every little thing. Now we're gonna see, just like the whole thing with Katy Perry kissing the guy, and he wasn't supposed to be kissed. Now, if that had been a man, a, a, a man kissing a woman, uh, that would that he would have been off the show already. Um, since since we're 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 gonna see how this goes, but to be honest with you, I think it's actually a pretty funny tweet. I mean, we know for, well, we don't know for a fact, we don't know anything, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that Trump and Hannity aren't in some kind of gay situation or whatever, but hell, that's pretty freaking funny. Now, one thing I do agree with him on is he said that the uh, vitriol has got, has basically, what he was saying, the vitriol has just completely taken away from the conversation, and I do agree with Kimmel on that. I actually do agree with him. We're getting to the point that we can't have a goddamn conversation about a freaking thing. This is where we are. Right now, we can't have a conversation without there being a bunch of name calling and a bunch of uh, uh, we can't possibly believe that someone thinks differently than we do. That has that has a different thought uh, on everything as we do. It's where we are right now. And it's really a sad place to be. But. If we're going to apply the rules to conservatives or to people that we don't that we don't like then we're going to sit back and we're going to have to make sure that we apply, apply them equally. Now, uh, um, Sean Hannity, I, 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 he, maybe he's overblowing it that he, that he, that he is so offended. Uh, maybe he is, but he's probably thinking the same thing I am. He's doing the same thing that I'm doing, which is saying, Hey, we're going, if we're going to live in an outrage culture, let's, let's apply that outrage equally and let's see what, what, what goes on and let's see what happens. We're going to, and then we'll quickly find out that, you know what, this is not something we, this is not a place we need to be just constantly being outraged on every little thing. So yeah, I think uh, at this point, I think that Kimmel should should have to come out on TV, apologize, boycott his sponsors. Let's see if his sponsors have anything to say about the what he has said. Let's see if his sponsors have anything to say. Let's see if those sponsors uh, uh, start start boycotting him. And he thinks that they probably will not. But let's see if we, if we if he does that. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, we got to get to to the point that we can have more civil discussion. This is absolutely freaking amazing that we're going to sit back and name call and basically be like little boys on the school ground saying, uh, uh, my, I, I effed your mom and stuff and little stuff. This is starting to be the equivalent. So your dad's, your, your dad's gay or something like that. This is the equivalent of what's going on. This is the equivalent of everything. This is where we've regressed to. Anyway. Uh, like I said, that's my thoughts. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that. See you on the next one. All right. Another thing I like to add <laughs> on the end here. I think this is a perfect example right here on these uh, Hollywood and well-to-do liberals. These uh, white liberals that they don't really give a crap about the groups that they say they care about the most. I guarantee you they make black jokes and they make every other kind of joke. This is one of those things where things slip out and the truth is is very much heard. He stands behind all these groups for to make more money and to basically distance himself even further and further away. He's one of the people at the top. 
And this is the truth. So while everyone's sitting back thinking that he's some kind of soldier for good, I can tell you this. This right here shows the kind of people you're dealing with. When a little bit of what they truly think gets out. He thinks it's funny. And he thinks it's something is derogatory to be gay. That's what he showed. Now, I wonder how many black or lesbian or whatever other or race or whatever kind of jokes he makes as a in a derogatory way. This shows a lot here. Anyway, thought I'd add that at the end and uh, see you in the next one. All right.